Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. All right, one veteran says he had just started farming with his dad and brother when his draft papers arrived. What he didn't know is he would end up in a war zone. Gwen Bevel and photojournalist Nick Kiefer have more in this veteran salute. At just 21, Ralph Hunt says they got off a boat in South Korea and then were boarded onto a train. He says it was the dead of night. It was so dark. He says you couldn't see the person next to you. That's what I want to finish those up, yes. Ralph Hunt has passed quite a bit of time creating in his shop here on his farm in Attica. And although it's been decades, he can still vividly recall what it was like to be a very scared young man. Somebody. In that box car that we were sitting there waiting, pulled out a little harmonica and started playing. And it, it, uh, it settled me down. Once they were in the war zone, Hunt says being a part of the field artillery, his job was to load the 40 pound shells. I learned real quick that you had to, you had to have a little, little, uh, Push to it to, to get it in there. His battery's job was to hit the enemy and help soldiers ahead of them. He remembers that after getting their howitzers dialed in, they could lay down rounds to protect the troops on the front line. And then the second round that we took was usually on target. And all, all six guns started firing on it. And that his battery didn't stop firing because the enemy was so close. They were going to run over us. He says the few still in the fight kept it up as the battle raged on. We fired all night long, dropping those shells. The artillery crews didn't just have the enemy to deal with. Hunt says it was tough handling those big shells in the coldest place he's ever been. I wrote a letter back to my folks, and they sent me a pair of insulated mittens. He was so thankful to pack these up and come home. Took my duffel bag and headed to the bus depot. And that's where he met a friendly soldier. And I've got a car. He said, do you want to ride along? I said, of course I'll ride. <laughs> it wasn't long before Hunt met the soldier's sister. She told her mother at that time, she said, that's the man I want to marry. And the two's love story took off from there. It's 421 miles from here to her, her house, <laughs> which I made several times. <laughs> the couple would go on to marry and create 60 years of memories on their farm in Attica. The Hunts raised one daughter, and she is the one who just a few years ago sent for her father's war medals so his service could be properly honored. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News 3. Tonight, we salute Ralph Hunt for his service during the Korean War. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here with our Veteran of the Week, Ralph Hunt, who served in the Army Artillery during the Korean War. On behalf of all of Kansas, Ralph, thank you for your service. Thank you. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.